Hey friends, I'm going to show you how to properly use a MIDI chord pack. Because yes, a MIDI chord pack can be a great tool for laying the foundations of a track. But if all you do is drag and drop chord progressions, you're going to sound just boring. On the other hand, if you introduce rhythmic and melodic variations on the progression, then you'll get some really cool results. So let's build a little two bar loop, and I'll show you how to do it right. Below I've prepared three percussion loops to give rhythm to our loop. So I assume you've unzipped the SHLD chord pack on your computer and added it to places on Ableton. Ableton is not a requirement and you can apply all the principles on FL Studio, Logic, Bitwig. We're going to create a title in D minor. So we're going to in folder 6, F major D minor. Then in 4, progressions. Then minor. We'll drag and drop the first progression onto the pad track. Duplicate on the second bar to get our two bar loop. And we'll introduce melodic and rhythmic variations. First, on the fourth and eighth beats, we move up an octave the bass note of the triad. And on the 8th beat, I'll add two higher notes. With offbeat timing, to give the progression a bit of groove. I'll do something similar on the 4th beat. On the 2nd beat, I'll move a note up an octave. And there we have a nice chord progression with the two different bars. Now on to track 3, where I've prepared an arpeggiator, set to 1 16th, with an analog pluck sound, which will contrast with the pads. I simply copy our progression from track 2 to track 3. Sounds nice already, doesn't it? but we're going to add other variations, for added subtlety. On beat 6, I add a note. The overlap between the two notes will give an interesting effect on the arpeggiator.
More variations could be added, but I'll move on to track 1, with a keys type instrument. I'm still using the first progression, but we're going to work on the rhythm differently. We're going to use rather brief sounds, as the other two tracks already take up quite a lot of sound space. I refer you to Alice's video above, if you want to better manage the sound space that the different instruments take up. So, I shorten the notes. I duplicate and place them against the beat. It's already nice, but we'll do better. On beat 2, I shorten the duration of the last note, I duplicate and place it against the beat. Ditto for beat 4. Now we have something more interesting in terms of rhythm. I adjust the notes a little, for more variation. We could go on and on, but let's see how it sounds with percussion. Now you can have fun with this loop. Change tracks, change volumes, change filters, to find the right balance. Change the groove of the notes. On your track, this loop could be an intro, verse or chorus. Create three or four loops, in the same key, with different chord progressions, and you're sure to have a great track to listen to. I could also have created a bass track, simply by taking the lowest note of the chord progression, and modifying the rhythm a little on the model of track 1. I'll leave you with this as an exercise. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to support this free chord pack.